Hello everyone and welcome back to another Schlib on Switch unboxing video. Today we have another box from this Japanese website called Shigeruya, which sells a lot of different random used stuff and I like making orders from them. This is a big box, it's not going to fit in frame, but it's going to be fun opening it. Now, the box did come a little bit opened, so that's a little annoying, but luckily for us, they pack their stuff pretty well. So not worried about really anything missing from this but let's check this out and see what came okay maybe it's not as neat as other packages so i got a bunch of switch games which i'll put on the side and go through later but there's a lot of other stuff here i will slowly go through everything so, first thing I'm going to grab is a towel, Sen no Kuseki. Now, every time I've ordered something from this website, most of it has been Kuseki related items and some Switch games, because they have so much Kuseki stuff there. But look at this, The Legend of Heroes. I'm not going to... This is half the towel. We got Ren, Joshua, Estelle... Pita and agate. So yes, yeah, so this is for Sen no Kiseki 4, Trails of Cold Steel 4, The Legend of Heroes, Sen no Kiseki 4. I need to see how many towels are in the set. I have two of them now. But they're awesome. Next up is this little baggie here. And in it we have some more acrylic stands. Now there is a lineup of acrylic standees for trails, and I'm slowly, slowly picking more and more up. I already have a whole bunch, and this time we got a few more. So the first one will open up. So here we have Mueller Vander. I'm not sure which game logo that is. I'm not great with all the Japanese logos, but it's maybe Reverie? I'm not 100 percent sure. Anyways, we have Mueller Vander. <coughs> and one thing that's not Kaseki related, we got this nice little cute Professor Layton charm. Maybe this is Trails to Azure? Not 100% sure, but we got this cute little Professor Layton charm. We have another one of the acrylic figures. This time we got Wazi Hemisphere, which if anyone has played Trails from Zero Trails to Azure, Recently, Wazi is one of my favorite characters, and I can't wait to see him return in Hajimari, or Reverie. So, still not 100% sure. This is either Azure or Reverie. I th I'm, I'm going to lean with Azure on this one, actually. I don't know why. But yeah, we got those two. So this is something, a thing, the end of Saga. So this is Cold Steel 4 related. Oh, little, all right, I remember ordering this little um, in-game credit image of the boys of Class 7. That's a cute little keychain charm. So we've got these things. Let's move these out of the way. Next up in this box, okay, this is why the box is so big. This box is huge because of these. This is why the box is big. This thing right here. Got one, two, three wall scrolls. We're going to look at those later because these are huge. So we're going to save them for a bit. Let's clear the way. 
in this box a little bit more for some of the other stuff that we have. So here's another thing I got. Okay, that's everything in this box. This box is empty now. Let's dump it on the floor. Because that's where boxes go. But here we have the Sen no Kiseki 4 End of Saga Legend of Heroes uh, Collector Edition. This is heavy as heck. Way heavier than I expected. Now, this is the PS4 Collector Edition. Why did I get it? Good question. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. But first, let's look at this. I have the Reverie PS4 Collector Edition. I don't have a PlayStation 4 or 5, and this game's only in Japanese. But now I have two games in Japanese. And this comes in really good condition for a really good price. We got the artwork on the back. Love how like the artwork on the back focuses on our uh, Sky and Zero Azure characters. And this artwork is phenomenal on the front of this box. This is a beautiful collector edition. Eternal edition. Ooh. So we got Agent Black Rabbit, Thor's the second branch Thor's military academy. Intelligence Agency, Black Rabbit. Got this envelope here. So I guess this is a DLC code for something. And like a mission letter from Million, or regarding Million. So that's cute. Then we have the PS4 game. I bought this used. This is still sealed, the PS4 game. I'm not going to open it. And then underneath that, we have what makes this so heavy. These books. Confidential Synopsis Sen no Kiseki 1. Now this is in Japanese. So it's going from, you know, left, from right to left. It's all in Japanese, but it looks like a script of some sort. Well, this is from Synopsis of Cold Steel 1, Synopsis of Cold Steel 2. So here on the back we have Reen and Alicia. I wonder what these are, actually, because, like, if this was translated into English, I have to, like, do some research, because... This is like a book like this looks awesome. Translating to English will be cool. And here at the back we have Crow and Reen. And then we have Confidential Synopsis of Senokaseki 3. This is a big one. Senokaseki 3 is honestly probably my favorite of the of the bunch. So yeah, I mean these are interesting books. And here we have Reen and Altina on the back. So these are interesting. Um, all in Japanese, but this is a beautiful collector edition. Um, not as much like, you know, cool items as like the NIS America one. Um, but this is just a, it, there's something about this collector edition that just like, wow. Anyways, so the main reason I got this was it came bundled with a retailer pre-order bonus. This is a stunning collector edition. I have to just give it that. So we have this. This is one of the this is one of the big reasons I ordered it. Because this was like a one item on the website. Came bundled with this. Sen no Kiseki featuring Reinford. Got some peepers. We got foam pad. And here we have a pocket watch. That's something to adjust the time and a pin to let it go. But look at this pocket watch though. This is cool. So there's no like branding on it specifically Kaseki related. That like shows it being from Kaseki. But the box is beautiful. And it comes with a nice chain. That is cool. Okay. This is really, really cool. 
I actually saw just this I just this product listed on the website for about the same price as this entire bundle. Um, and then here we have something, but more artwork. So it's like a comic strip with the characters in, J in Japanese. That's cool. This is nice. And one more thing it came bundled with was probably this wall scroll. I'm going to actually stand up and for continuing this video. I'm going to move my Sen no Kiseki for collector edition to the side. And then we're going to look at these wall scrolls. I ordered... I ordered three wall scrolls, and I want to guess this is the one that was the, came with that. I can get it open. Sorry, I'm going a little bit off camera. Yeah, so this is the one that came bundled with Sen no Kiseki 4. This is big. This is a big wall scroll, but I love this artwork. That is nice. And I got two other art scrolls, uh, wall scrolls. I'm not sure where the source for each one of them is specifically, but they are smaller. So this is more of a horizontal one. It's about the same size if we look at it, but this is for Cold Steel 3, original class 7. And I knocked over my Wazi. So I'll have to go find Wazi. And the third wall scroll. is another Cold Steel 4 wall scroll. It's similar to the other one. But different artwork and different orientation. So you got three Cold Steel wall scrolls. Now these were actually really, really good priced. And I'm going to have to pack them up soon after I finish this video and put them all back properly. But yeah, those are the three wall scrolls. Those, those are awesome, actually. I really, really like them. Um, I never had any wall scrolls. I recently got one in the Loop 8 Collector Edition, a mini wall scroll. That was like, ooh, I like these. All right, the last Kiseki item we have there's another thing that's like, why did I buy it? But Kaseki, so it's awesome. We have the Sora no Kaseki set for the PSP. Now, Sora no Kaseki are Trails in the Sky. There's only um, a physical co uh, English copy of Trails, of, uh, Trails in the Sky first chapter for the PSP. Um, second chapter on PSP never got a physical and Sky the Third is Steam only, or PC only. So yeah, so here we have the box with the three games. These are also all just in Japanese. But we got first chapter, Trails in the Sky first chapter, which I already have the PSP English copy, thanks to a dear friend about the UMD and the pamphlet. We got... Sora no Kiseki second chapter, which now I have a physical that. This is a two UMD set. Also, I don't have a PSP, so these are it's purely collector items for me. And Sora no Kiseki the third, which is a single UMD. So yeah, now that I have a physical version of Sora no Kiseki 2nd Chapter and Sora no Kiseki the 3rd, I have a physical copy of every game in the series up to Hajimari, through Hajimari. I don't have any Kuro stuff yet. Um, Hajimari, I, did, I do have the Japanese Collector Edition. I have 5 games in Japanese and 7 in English. Um, I have a couple copies of games multiple times, but... Now I at least have every game up to 